My name is Brankica Milojević. I am professor at the Faculty for Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy, University of Banja Luka. Welcome to my lesson, Spatial Planning in Function of Flood Protection, Methodological Approaches for Balkan Countries. Great floods which hit the Balkan region uh, in May 2014, uh, causing huge damage, uh, have actually intensified the flood protection activities at the wider regional and national level. The extreme amount of rainfall and usually for this region happened in short time intervals of 24, 26, 2010 and 2014. This actually points to the climate change and the necessity to explore, monitor and adapt the life activities as well as the use of space and goods in accordance with potential risks and critical situations. Harmful consequences of floods in 2014 have also shown numerous lacks regarding the management of basins and lack of flood protection measures in the urban and rural space. Many problems were identified, such as the lack of appropriate protection dikes along river banks and the lack of some other forms of rain regulation like water rooms in rural zones, regulation line of water flows on dams, savage system in urban zones, etc. It is evident that the best results are achieved in the regional level by systemic work on protection against the river flooding as it requires interstate and regional cooperation, defining and strengthening of legal, institutional and strategic action which presents the basis for efficient measures and action at the local level. Weakness in the sphere of spatial planning were land use in urban and rural regions, system of technical structures and measures for flood protections like dikes, water retentions, drainage, drainage systems and so on, infrastructure uh, like savage systems in, in urban zones, transport, electrical, engineering and so on, the rules of constructing in urban areas and spatial information bases. The hypotheses of this lecture are the improvement of spatial planning system is necessary for implementation of strategic and local measures for flood protection. It implies flood risk management plan as the part of spatial information base, harmonization between spatial plan and flood risk management plan and integrated approaches of spatial planning methodology. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this paper will try to live the role of spatial planning in flood protection in accord with the recommendation of a World Meteorological Organization and Global Water Partnership in the Associated Program on Flood Management the aim is uh, creating guidelines for methodological approaches in all levels of integrated spatial planning, harmonized with flood management plan, plans and strategic documents. The space of Bosnia and Herzegovina will be especially pronounced in terms of legal regulations and spatial planning methodology. Now, I will say something about factors contributing to flooding. The natural events results from various meteorological, hydrogeological uh, and uh, human factors such as excessive rainfall or uh, groundwater level or a reduction uh, in uh, a river's um, conveyance uh, capacity due to uh, siltation, ice jams or inadequate land use practice. There is interaction between them on many ways. In general, uh, there is interaction between a uh, land and water environment in space and time. During the floods, uh, there are uh, essentially three connected fluxes, water, sediments, nutrients and pollutants that create harmful influence 
to the environment and urban area. Land use activities should be harmonized with meteorological and uh, hydrogeological factors as well as with the other natural, built and socio-economic environment in aim to manage with a risk on flood on sustainable and resilient way. It means that societies have to cope with flood hazard by attempting to reduce risk or the damage to an acceptable level. This acceptable level varies according to the perception of the risk of a given society and should therefore be adapted to the community concerned with the flood problem. Terms which we want to learn and use in domain of flood control are flood protection, flood management and integrated flood management. Flood protection played an important role in protecting people and social, socio-economic development from flooding in the past. It is largely relied on structural solutions such as embankments, uh, bypass channels, dams and reservoirs. Flood control and protection measures imply making development decisions on the basis of information about current and potential future risks of extreme hazard meteorolog meteorological events. Each community of country will be ready for risk that it can cope with. In the last two decades, uh, flood management is recognized as the highest model of comprehensive, sustainable, resilient and responsible human answer to the challenges of floods in condition of climate change. It abuse spatial, technical and organizational measures. The concept of flood management varies depending on the countries, on the country where it is carried out and the overall aim that is uh, given to flood management policy. For example, in some countries the term flood management is still used uh, synonymously with flood control, emphasizing the control approach focusing on river engineering and structural flood management measures. While those structural measures also form part of flood management, the control approach is slowly losing the central position. Societies increasingly recognize that floods can be controlled only to a limited extent and that a residual risk on flooding always exists. Integrated flood management is a process promoting an integrated rather than a fragmented approach to flood management within the framework of integrated water resource management. It integrates land and water resources management in river basins and coastal areas in order to maximize the efficient use of floodplains while minimizing loss and life and property from flooding. Integrated flood management requires planning process which should involve all organizations, institutions or communities that could affect or be affected by the hydrological processes of the river Brazil. Also, they are developed at different administrative levels as part of sectoral planning. These include Basin of Catchment Flood Management Strategy, Basin or Catchment Flood Management Plan, local flood management plan and project plan. The different plans uh, vary largely according to spatial and temporal scales. The first two are prepared for wider areas and time horizons up to several decades. The later two types of plans are prepared on rather small spatial scales and time scales of month or a few years. In these local plans, a variety of specific issues can be addressed, such as flood hazard mapping needs, regulatory standards and procedures, areas where repeated flood losses have occurred 
local flood defense requirements, river bed corrections and adjustments etc. Those plans uh, should be the part of spatial info documentation base for spatial planning for all spatial levels. Now, I will say something about spatial planning and flood management. What is spatial planning? Spatial planning is socio-political and professional process I'm aimed uh, at the welfare of the people, control of land use, the arrangement of the urban environment and the protection and improvement of the natural environment. It is multidisciplinary process involving professionals from many areas in common to planning activities. In accordance with administrative division of the territory and jurisdiction, spatial planning has a few levels federal or national level, state or district level, and municipal or, or local level. In some countries, uh, term spatial planning refers on federal or national and state or district level, while urban planning or city planning refers to the municipality and local level. In some terminology, land use means spatial planning. What is the relation between spatial planning and flood management? Uh, there is an interaction between spatial planning and flood management and it is desirable that the spatial planners are involved in the development flood management, such as spatial plans must be harmonized with the flood management and maps of flood risks. In this sense, the measures in flood management, which are connected with the land use and space, should be defined in plans for all spatial levels in accordance with the system of planning. The measures in domain of the spatial regulations on the level of uh, river basin or wider territory with a few urban areas such as afforestation, uh, permeable pavement, uh, room for the river, dams, dikes, etc. should be defined in the strategic plans, like spatial plan of region or district. The necessary part of a spatial info documentation base for strategic spatial planning should be river basin strategy or management, then forestry management, river management, coastal zone management, etc. The state is responsible for this level of spatial documentation and its obligatory is to provide management plan. Very often, international cooperation is necessary for creating flood management or strategy for river basins. The measures in domain of local level, such as land use, zoning, building restrictions, etc., should be defined in the urban plan or general plan and regulatory plan or plan of detailed regulation. All the measures of the local level should be harmonized with the strategic plans and flood management recommendations and with the local conditions. Maps of risk of floods are necessary for this level of planning. It is also desirable that municipalities provide flood risk assessments, flood plan regulations, maps of landslides, etc. Uh, then documentation in aim to complete and update the spatial info documentation base for integral urban planning. Now I will say something about European floods directive and current practice in European countries. The European umbrella documents uh, which regulates floods is the um, Floods Directive uh, 27 uh, 60 European from European Commission. Uh, the purpose of the directive is aiming at the reduction of the adverse uh, consequences of floods for human health, the environment, cultural heritage and economic activities. 
The requirements for member states were to carry out a preliminary assessment to identify areas at risk of flooding, to draw up flood maps and to establish flood risk management plans that focus on prevention, protection and preparedness. Many European countries have taken significant steps in accordance with the European Floods Directive. In Holland, thanks to cooperation of professional institutions and state institutions, modern simulation models have uh, been developed. One of the biggest national Dutch projects, uh, the Room for the River, is the project the Room for the, Room for the River. The Dutch Department for Public Works and Water Management is working to give the Rhine River more room at over 30 locations, protecting uh, 4 million people who live in flood-prone uh, areas. Slovakia uh, has adapted the European uh, Union Flood uh, Directive to specifics and possibilities of its territory by bringing up of a package of uh, emergency response measures to be uh, deployed at national, regional and local level and feasibility study and cost-benefit analysis. Uh, what are the activities in flood management and uh, what are the problems in ba Balkan region? Activities referring to integral water management of the Danube Basin, which also included the countries of the Balkan region, were initiated in the 19th uh, of the 20th century. It was uh, by Convention of Cooperation for Protection and Sustainable Use of the Danube River signed in 1994 and enforced in 1998 with an aim of harmonizing with the European uh, Union directives on flood risk management in the territories on the Danube Basin. International Commission for the Protection of the Danube River was formed and all the signing countries committed themselves to creating plans of flood risk management in the territories of the Danube Basin by the end of 29. Four countries, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Serbia at the Balkan, uh, ratified the contract on the international basin of the Sava River in 22 and committed themselves to creating a joint plan of integral water resources management of the Sava River Basin. The International Commission for the Sava River was formed in order to carry out a joint task and with uh, the aim of harmonizing with a plan at a higher level um, in the, is uh, in charge. Uh, the activities has the started in this respect but in uh, 2014 were again initiated within the countries affected by the floods in the Balkan region. For the Balkan region, which was affected by flood in May 2014, the Sava River Basin is irrelevant. There was a special draft plan for it called the Management Plan for the Sava River Basin dating December uh, 2011, supported by the European Union. It uh, contained the information gathered in the five Balkan countries where the Sava River flows. Uh, it, these are uh, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro. This document emphasizes the synergy between the risk management against floods and basin management. It has been pointed out that the Sava River Basin there is a system of uh, preserved retention areas which is unique in Europe. Good management of those areas can provide useful solutions in order to have uh, the environmental objectives from the framework directive on what is achieved. At the same time, it can ensure efficient protection system against flooding of Sava River and it would be useful for several countries in the region. The existence of the dike against floods, as emphasized in this document, can have a bad effect on the good water condition. Therefore, it is necessary to analyze all aspects, including the real effects of the flood protection in the wider region. 
What is the action plan for flood protection and river management in Bosnia and Herzegovina? Uh, this document uh, created uh, for the period 2014-2017 uh, has created a uh, framework for systemic action in Bosnia and Herzegovina by defining uh, six groups of measures which are to be implemented in the following period, uh, period and addressed to appropriate institution to make an estimate of the funds needed for implementation. The first measure refers to damage uh, remediation, uh, remediation. The second uh, one refers to harmonization of the systems of flood protection in Bosnia and Herzegovina with the European Directive and uh, flood risk management. Uh, the third group refers to adoption of new te technical solutions regarding flood protection, erosion and torrents for settlements and towns which did not have any water control structures against floods. It is evident that this measure cannot be implemented without previously defined spatial plans of the regional and local level, which will establish the protection system on the broader territory and the kinds of structures in accordance with all specifics and influential factors on spatial decisions. Only after the plans have been made, it is possible to define technical solutions and implement on the field. The action plan, uh, in any case, represents the largest framework which creates important social institutional, institutional base for action in the field of flood protection. In the following period, it will be necessary to make the change in the law so the new information could be used in integral spatial planning from the regional to the local level with a good response to the flood risks. That is still not happening. What is integrated planning? Integrated planning is an essential integration and interaction for all levels of planning and all aspects of the space in order to complete deliberations on who, what and how to do in the urban area. It can be achieved with interaction of all planning steps, multidisciplinary and integrated analysis of all, of all relevant aspects of space, professional capacity, planning flexi flexibility and adaptability, connection of spatial levels, institutional and financial support, participation, effective and transparent planning procedures, creation of update spatial database like cadaster, national resources, map of risk of floods, earthquakes, uh, renewable energy resources, maps of landslides and so on, a regulatory framework and education and skills. If we carefully analyze the practice of spatial planning in Balkan countries in view of integrated planning, we can conclude that there is lack of multidisciplinary and integrated analysis of all relevant aspects of space, lack of professional capacity, lack of financial support, uh, lack of updated spatial data, database, uh, especially in domain of cadaster, uh, natural resources and map of a uh, risk of uh, natural hazards, and um, uh, also, regulatory framework should be improved and uh, also education and skills of professionals also um, should be improved. And finally, we come to the conclusion of the lessons. Uh, spatial planning uh, in accordance with uh, all uh, we said is uh, a basic instrument for having integral flood management. Uh, there is interaction between flood management and spatial planning. Uh, how? Uh, the first relation is that flood management is necessary part of information basis for sustainable and resilient spatial planning. 
In the same time, spatial planning is the instrument for all kinds of structural intervention in space, including measures of flood protection. There is lack of flood management plans as well as lack of spatial plans that deal uh, with this topic integrally at the strategic and local level in, ba in Balkan countries. Active inclusion of spatial planning uh, into the issues of flood protection in Balkan region requires improvement of spatial planning methodology in aim of more integrated approach. Proactive and responsible role of states and municipalities, professional institutions and civil sector in Balkan countries is necessary in aim to improve situation in domain of flood protecting including more knowledge for resilience society. Thank you for your attention.